Hey everyone, welcome to Afro Italiana. My name is Anna Frimpong Arhin, also known as AFA Grace. Although I was born in Ghana and raised in Italy, even from my early childhood, I've been infused with strong Nigerian, British, and American cultural influences. So much so, I am somewhat of a self proclaimed um, cultural mutt. The Afro-Italian identity is one I'm learning to grapple with and embrace. I believe I'm not alone. We are all trying to establish our voice in this world. This podcast aims to create a safe space for fellow cultural mutts to convene, to grow and belong. So welcome to the conversation. So today's um, episode is called The Accident, and I'll be getting more into that later. But before then, I wanted to kind of um, give a better idea of what um, this podcast kind of comes from, where my inspiration for the intro is from, and kind of give you an idea of um, what kind of pushed me to do this in the first place what really brought this out of me um so let's start with the song with the intro so um it's definitely new music that is out there now but it is a song that i wrote um that actually has lyrics that i wrote about two years ago and i wrote it at the time when i was feeling very um put on the spot i felt like there was a lot of expectations i had of myself of how i was supposed to present myself in the world um but i just didn't know how to show up for it i didn't know how to be that person i expected myself to be so um the lyrics of the song actually says um I see, I see a light running from the darkness. To me, it's no surprise that you feel so hunted. Then it goes into, it shows, it shows, it shows, it shows. The words, the lyrics are, I see a light running from the darkness. Um, to me, it's no surprise that you feel so hunted. Um, it shows. And I really felt like that. I felt like I was grappling to figure out who I was meant to be in this world. And it was so obvious that I didn't know what the heck I was doing. And it was a time where I had to kind of um, accept that, accept that I was in that phase of discovery um, of my voice and who I was and how I presented in the world. So that kind of really um, is the message and the theme of this whole podcast, which is kind of discussing and finding and exploring your own voice and um it's an opportunity for me to share my opinion to kind of bring up discussions on topics that i have been talking my friend's ear of you know about for like ever and to bring it to a hopefully larger platform where more people can share their thoughts and discuss and hopefully not just discuss but minds will be changed lives will be touched and we will all grow from this experience it's kind of a safe um, space to learn and to express oneself Um, and um, it's all about finding your voice finding your identity and um, that is kind of like the little story behind the intro Um, but now let's go into why this episode is called the accident now This episode is called The Accident because 
um, it's actually not a cheery thing <laughs> because um, January 12, uh, 2017, I was in an accident. I was hit by a van. Uh, I'm so used to saying that in like a humorous way. It's, I can't take myself seriously, but I was hit by a van and it was a serious accident. I was rushed to the hospital and um, by God's grace, I didn't have any um, serious, like, you know, traumatic injuries, you know, so no bones were broken and, and stuff like that. Um, most of my injury was muscular. Most of my injury was... Um, had to do with the tension of my nerves and um i had to have physiotherapy for it and even after that god himself had to heal me from it um but considering the grossness of the accident um i turned out pretty fine like i had to be grateful that my life was spared, that I still had my consciousness and my real, you know, my mind and I could still walk, I could still go to uni, like I was fine. Um, not completely, obviously, but compared to what could have happened, I was pretty good. Um, and um, it, it was um, weird because I um, was feeling very grateful um, for the fact that I had survived and for the fact that I was pretty well, but I was also very, um, traumatized. Um, my body was very, um, traumatized by the experience. Like I said, I needed physiotherapy, but also my mind. It took me forever to be able to cross the road without freaking out and without feeling so th you know threatened by just the mere act of crossing the road and it was um a very hard and um i remember feeling really torn because on one hand i was very grateful but on the other hand i was very injured in a very real way and I didn't know how to move forward in a grateful posture but still deal with my mental state and still address it and heal from that and um, it, it took me through a journey of um, really I like to say self-discovery because um, it was also a reality check um, because I could have lost my life and I had to kind of readdress my purpose and all of these things but while I was trying to do that kind of hard work I still had a lot of mental undoing that I had to address um, and um, I didn't know how to deal with this I didn't know how to acknowledge my trauma but still be grateful for my life. Um, and it took a while for me and the Lord to kind of walk through this. And um, I bring this up not only because I feel like after that incident, I kind of didn't really create content anymore, but also because, uh, apart from my song, which is a different story, but um, I bring it up also because immediately um, coronavirus happened. And at the time of this recording, the thing that's happening is the pandemic that is the coronavirus, uh, co COVID-19, and it's affecting so many lives in so many ways. Um, and my country, um, the country that I am in now presently recording is in lockdown. Um, and so is many other places in the world. And we're in the thick of it, really. Um, when it first started, I really felt um, like it was... Um, I felt like I was revisiting those same feelings again because um, when it happened, um, a lot, my life technically in a weird way kind of had to pause. And I feel like many people feel this way. Our lives have to pause. 
um, I was doing something and it was time sensitive and I was kind of getting my mind in the game and trying to progress and it, it had to be paused, it had to be stopped. And I felt like I had no right to complain about the fact that my life, you know, had this detour and this change that I could have never predicted that was leading to so much uncertainty. I felt like I could not complain because literally I was fine. Like there were people out there losing their lives, losing their health, losing their loved ones. And all I had was, you know, some plans changed. And I felt like, um, and even saying that it feels weird because it, it, it hurt that my plans had changed, but I felt like I had no right to feel that I had no right to uh, acknowledge that disappointment because I should be grateful. So I really felt like um, I was in that place again, that place where I'm torn between being grateful for the fact that um, I am doing pretty well by God's grace and literally his grace and his mercy alone, but also feeling a sense of real loss and disappointment and not knowing how to move forward. And uh, I remember trying to recall what helped me through that phase. And I realized what helped me through that phase was taking it one day at a time. And that is so cliche, it's annoying, but literally taking it one day at a time. But in, in a practical sense, what that means is that to live grateful, to be consciously and intentionally grateful and thankful um, and, and mindful um, at all times. Um, but then when the moment would strike uh, where I would, um, when I was dealing with the trauma of the accident, when the moment would strike, and I would feel that tension welling up and I would feel the anxiety in me, I had to stop and acknowledge it and validate it and say, yes, this is true. Yes, this happened. Yes, this is normal. And kind of allow myself to feel that and then be grateful again. And then be like, although I have this to deal with, I have my life and I have my God and I have my peace um, and I have him to give me peace. So although I just felt this, he is with me and that is assurance enough. And really through this moment, although I'm going through um, and I, I'm sure so many people are going through this season where we are like so uncertain, it's kind of like acknowledge whatever disappointment, whatever uncertainty, whatever anxiety, whatever fear, whatever thing that you have, whether it directly has to do with having the um, disease itself or your loved ones having it, or it has to do with, you know, your plants that have been affected by it. Acknowledge that, take that in, you know, let sit with that, but also realize that you're not alone in this. And honestly, realize that you never had control to start with. And that hurts, but it's true. We don't control life. We like to feel like we can control it because we notice patterns and we want to predict. But honestly, we don't control life. And when we accept this and I was um, talking to my friend the other day and telling her how I deal with um, situations like this um, and I was saying how I learned to accept it to feel it and to and in that feeling and accepting of it part of it the resolution of it is realizing that I'm not in control and that I just have to lean into God and I just have to trust that God is in control and that he knew this would happen and he feels everything I feel and he is with me and he is for me and he is good and I need to trust in his character because I cannot see his hand you know uh, and it is something of uh, uh, that you need to practice. It doesn't come to you. I don't say this because I am perfect at it. At it. I say it because I know it works. Um, so really, this episode is called um, The Accident because I really want you to also throw back um, 
your mind to maybe a time when you had something similar as this, um, where you were feeling it, a time of transition or reckoning with a disappointment where you had to work through it and think of how it worked um, out, how you worked out and how you can then um, apply those lessons to now and hopefully grow from those things and do better than you did the last time it came around. Um, so... I really hope that was helpful. I really hope that gives a bit of strength and validation to some people's feelings and um, season right now. Um, I started this thing a while ago um, that um, I used to post on Instagram, but I wasn't like faithful to it. And child, um, I'm gonna do better, <laughs> but um, it's called Farewell Friday, and it's in reference to my song that um, I have, my single, and um, it's when every Friday I would say something I was saying goodbye to, you, something that was letting go, an attitude usually was a mindset that I was um, letting go because it wasn't good for me. And I've decided that at the end of each podcast, I will have a farewell Friday, uh, something that I'm letting go. So this podcast, my farewell Friday is um, farewell to being frozen by change. Farewell to being frozen by change. So um, I would like to end this episode by asking you, how have you been doing with this whole lockdown situation? How have you been dealing with it? What's your mantra in this season? What have you been telling yourself to go through it? And finally, we definitely want to um, send prayers the way of people that are impacted by this in a very close you know way whether they have this disease or their loved ones are you know suffering or uh, we want to send prayers their way uh, and love their way um and um next time um let me know if you're interested but i want to delve in a bit more to maybe sharing tips if you all have tips um of how you are handling and um, managing your mental health in this kind of whole lockdown situation. Um, you can share and maybe we can share a bit of that next episode. So um, I guess this is it. This is my first episode and I really enjoyed it. And I hope you did to see you or hear you, I guess, next time. <laughs>